Romans 13, 7 says, Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. This is one of the Bible verses that keeps coming to mind when I think about Pastor Mike and Mrs. Jane's 20th year anniversary here at Crossroads Baptist Church. 20 years of faithful service to the Lord is an accomplishment of great honor, and we at Crossroads get to be the beneficiaries. Congratulations on 20 years of service at Crossroads Baptist Church. That's like a unicorn in Christianity today. Seriously, thank you for your dedication to the Word of God and your service to the ministry at Crossroads Baptist Church. You're not just our pastor and pastor's wife, you're our friends. One word that comes to mind when we think of you is compassion. The compassion that you have for each and every one of us, and we love you. Now for the next 20, 20 years. years. This is to our godly pastor and wife, Jane. You're more than that. You're our friend. We're blessed and very happy since God led us here to this spirit-filled church. And that's the truth. You know what we came from. We love you both. We pray that you have another 20 years here. You'll be a little older than me. I'll only be 185 then. Your friends in Christ, Don and Geneva. Thank you, Pastor, for everything. We are so thankful for being a part of this church and for the part of the children's ministry and the, the print shop ministry. You've really got a good thing going here and I just really praise you and thank you for letting us be a part of it. Um, I just pray for you every day. I'm so glad that you're, you're the pastor of this church. I would uh, <clears throat> have to say that, that uh, your message of the gospel is the most clear and, and effective that I've heard for a long, long time. And we were searching for something like this, mm -hmm. for this gospel message. And yeah. when I heard it the first time, you just amazed me. Mm -hmm. And I, I was just as excited as I was when I was first saved. I personally want to thank you both for the investment that you've made in my life and in the lives of my children. When I first showed up at Crossroads, I was looking for two things. I was looking for a church that stuck by the King James Bible and one with solid preaching in which to raise my children. I not only found those two characteristics, but I found several people encouraging me to live for Christ, even when things are hard and even when we make mistakes. One of the first lessons I learned at Crossroads that sometimes the hardest person to forgive is yourself, but we must do it and continue on for the glory of God. To Jane, thanks for being a pastor's wife that I could relate to. God knew I needed you. To pastor, thanks for continuing to invest in people, even when you know we are just flesh and prone to err. Your faithfulness has made a huge impact on my life. God woke me up this morning with blessings untold A precious loving family and a house that we call home The promise of eternal life because of Calvary The peace that settled in my heart since the day He saved me Look what God has done I stand amazed and think of His love I don't deserve it There's no way I could earn it Eternity is not long prayers I prayed for years never once 
Jesus, he filled me. He made a way when all I saw was impossibility. My heart bows in worship, my lips sing his praise. We will choose to serve the Lord for the rest of our days. Look what God has done. I stand amazed and think of his love. I don't deserve it. There's no way I could earn it. Eternity is not long some bitter tears but I felt his arms around me as I faced my greatest fears you see I've had more gains than losses and I've known more joy than hurt as his grace rolled down upon me undeserved for God's been good in my life I feel blessed beyond my wildest dreams When I go to sleep each night And though I've had my share of hard times I wouldn't change them if I could Cause through it all God's been good God has been my father, 
my Savior and my friend. His love was my beginning, and His love will be my end. I could spend forever trying to tell you everything He is. But the best way that I can say it is this. God's been good in my life I feel so blessed beyond my wildest dreams When I go to sleep each night And though I've had my share of hard times I wouldn't change them if I could Cause through it all God's been good Thank you, Pastor Mark, for your good sermons. You preach the way I learn, namely with points and subpoints. As a writer, I appreciate your use of alliteration, like your sermon covering desertion, disobedience, distraction, deception, and disbelief. Jane, I appreciate the lively songs you play before church. Thank you. Sandy and I were looking for a church, and uh she found online that uh, Gerard had a church uh, that was King James only, and, um, and it was uh, Crossroads Baptist Church. So we came and we visited. And uh, on the way home, I said, "Well, you know, I, I think uh, I think I can can learn something from this man, from Mike Buckingham." And so. It was before the next Sunday, I think probably Thursday or Friday, that uh, Jane and Brother Mike showed up in our backyard, and we had a nice little talk, and and uh, so we just started coming, and it was a 45-minute trip, so we decided we'd move here. So we moved, and here we are, and the rest is history. Thank you, Brother Mike and Jane, for being here, being a brother and sister in Christ. Yeah, Brother Mike, I've had the privilege of working with several men, pastors that Debbie and I have had in the different churches we've gone to. And each one was a good man, but uh, there were only a few that had one quality that I see in you, and that's the quality of a pastor's heart. A lot of these men were really good men, good preachers, good teachers. But again, that quality of having a pastor's heart is what separates those men that are successful, that have a blessed ministry, from those that aren't as blessed. And I cannot but think that that's maybe one of the reasons why so many churches are falling by the wayside. They may have good pastors, good preachers, good teachers, but they have a man that just doesn't have that pastor's heart that I've seen exhibited in you. And I appreciate that. Hey, Pastor Mike and Jane, I just wanted to congratulate you on 20 years of service at Crossroads Baptist Church. You are such a blessing to all of us, and um, I just want you to know how much you're loved and truly appreciated. Um, I'm looking forward to the next 20 years. Shortly after attending Crossroads Baptist Church, almost 20 years ago, 
My family and I knew we wanted to join because of Pastor Mike and his preaching. He said King James Version only, which was most important to me. And he always gave an invitation for salvation at the end of his message. One of the most blessed days of my life was seeing Pastor Mike baptize my husband Buddy and Kaylee and Kylie, my granddaughters. My family and I love Pastor Mike and Miss Jane. When I invite people to church, I know they are going to hear the Word of God preached with an invitation to accept Jesus as their Savior. We are truly blessed to have this very special couple at Crossroads Baptist Church. Every morning when I wake to see the sun I can't help but think about the Lord and all the things He's done He meets my every need You know He's been so good to me And I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done For all He's done I'm gonna lift my hands and praise Him For all He's done I'll try to live my life to please Him Even though I don't deserve to live My life has just begun And I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done There are many things that I could praise God for And if I started now until I died There'd still be many more If I could mention only one I'd have to thank Him for His Son Now that's enough to praise the Lord praise Him for all He's done. I'll try to live my life to please Him, even though I don't deserve to live. My life has just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done. For all He's done, I'm gonna lift my hands and praise Him. For all He's done I'll try to live my life to please Him Even though I don't deserve to live My life has just begun And I can't help but praise the Lord For all He's done Even though I don't deserve to live My life has just begun and I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done, for all He's Congratulations, Pastor and Miss Jane, for your 20 years of service at Crossroads Baptist Church. 20 years is a very significant time, and the Lord has truly blessed you throughout these years. We just want to thank you so much for your faithful service to our Lord and uh, let you know that we're very blessed to be a part of Crossroads Baptist Church, and we are happy to serve the Lord with you. We just want you to know that we truly appreciate that you guys are such a great pastor and pastor's wife. Thank you. In 2003, we received a visitor at the door, and upon answering, we met a young man who introduced himself as the new pastor of a church called Crossroads Baptist Church, and invited us to visit his church as soon as we could. When we did, when we walked into that service, we knew we were home. 
and we were looking for a church and this was it. This was the church. I don't know if he knew what he was up against with both of us, but um, we're so thrilled to see what God's doing and what he's done in this church. And it's because of your leadership and your preaching and the Bible that you live as well as talk. We love you and your family very, very much, Pastor. Congratulations on this 20-year anniversary, and we pray that for the, the next 20 years. Thank you. Thank you so much for being faithful for 20 years. You're the only pastor I've really ever had, and I'm very blessed for that. Oh, he's done. I'm gonna lift my hands and praise him for all he's done. I'll try to live my life to please him, even though I don't deserve to live. My life is just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done. Even though just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done.